respiratory organs in amphibians. Have you observed a frog or a toad sitting quietly? You would have noticed that though its mouth is closed, the flow of its mouth keeps going up and down. This is because it is breathing through its mouth. Unlike humans, amphibians can breathe through lungs, through their skin, and also by using gills. Unlike birds and mammals, amphibians are cold-blooded so they don't use up any energy for keeping their bodies at a constant temperature. This means their cells aren't working as hard as warm-blooded animals like us, and they don't need as much oxygen. In this module, let's learn about pulmonary respiration and cutaneous respiration in amphibians. Respiration through lungs is known as pulmonary respiration. The frog breathes through lungs while on land. Or when it is floating on the surface of the water. It takes in air through the nostrils into the mouth by lowering the floor of the mouth or the buccal cavity keeping the mouth closed. Next, the nostrils are closed and the passage between the mouth cavity and lungs is opened. The floor of the buccal cavity is raised and air is forced into the lungs. Exchange of gases takes place in the lungs as well as the lining of the buccal cavity. Oxygen diffuses in and carbon dioxide diffuses out. Amphibian lungs are a bit different from our lungs. Our lungs are spongy and full of tiny little sacs called alveoli. These alveoli increase the amount of surface that oxygen can enter our bodies through. Since amphibians don't need as much oxygen as humans, they don't have as many alveoli either. The way amphibians use their lungs is different from humans too. Humans have a diaphragm beneath their lungs that causes the air to rush in and out. Amphibians don't have diaphragms and they have to force air into their lungs by moving their mouth like we do when we are swallowing. Respiration through the skin is known as cutaneous respiration. The skin on amphibians is very thin and is richly supplied with blood capillaries. The water carries oxygen with it, which diffuses into the capillaries and the carbon dioxide from the blood diffuses out. That's why most amphibians have to live in moist places where there's water nearby.